Hello modelers. I'm going to make my first pour from my pond I made and I'm going to show you the products I use. This is going to be made up of about uh, three, four, maybe five little clips. It'll add up to probably about 20, 25 minutes possibly. So we'll get started. What, what we're trying to achieve is I'm going to turn the tripod here just for a second. I'm going to go slow. We're trying to achieve this look that I did on my the other side of my layout. That's the water that I'm trying to copy. I've done it many times, so. Okay, so what we do is we use this product. This is what I use right here, Envirotex Light. It's at Hobby Lobby. You can kind of see the price, very reasonable. This is 32 ounces. This does a lot. The other side, I used a couple boxes when I did it. It's a couple full boxes. This we're gonna use probably, oh, about two thirds of uh, the kit, just for this pond. It can be a little sensitive. Um, there's a couple other manufacturers that make products like it. I know um, Woodland Scenics makes one. I even have a, a box of it, but it, you need a lot more of theirs because they just don't give you a ton of it when you buy it. So you have to buy a lot more boxes and they're kind of expensive, but it works good too. So it's all what you want to use. So then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this stuff, Woodland Scenics. It's a water tint. And the color is called murky. That's what gives my water that dark uh, look to a cloudy look. It kind of matches, I think, what you would um, see the water looking like when you're um, you know, looking down from the top. So it gets its blue color from a reflection from the sky normally. Then you're going to need also a couple cups. Yeah, when you pour this stuff, you have to measure it accurately. And it's got to be pretty much exact. So the, that's why they say take a couple cups. I'm not going to mix it uh, on video, but I'll pour it to, together, and I'll, but I'll shut the video off when I stir it. So you don't have to sit and watch. It takes a couple minutes to stir uh, the first round. And then when you're done, you take and you pour it into a third cup. And um, then you'll mix it again just for a little bit, a minute or so and then you're ready to pour. Do not wait a long time to pour. Um, it's not good to let it sit in the cup because it starts to harden the minute then things are mixed. So then another thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need a straw, you know, to get air bubbles out, a good mixing stick. I just use a paint stick. I actually like to use a popsicle stick, a thick one, I just don't have any. And I just have something like this laying around it's one of my tree sticks that I make my trees out of. So about, it, it takes about eight to eight to 10 hours for it to really set up. I like to test it with this on the very outer edge, just to make sure and see if it's hard. To, you know, after about, I'd say six to 10 hours, you it's gonna be dust resistant, but you wouldn't wanna press your finger on it because it takes about 36 to 72 hours, depending on your, um, uh, temperature. I keep my my basement room where my trains are at about 70 degrees, 68 to 70 degrees. So I turned it up today to about 72 and I'll leave it like that for probably two days while it cures. If you use it at about 70, 72, it can take about three days to cure fully solid. I actually get kind of nervous about it and I won't touch it for about a week myself. I mean, you can work around it. I just don't want to press my fingers really hard into it. The stuff I got on the other side, I let that sit at least a week. And after a week, you can't, it won't make any dents or in any uh, fingerprints showing or smudges. Unless it was, if it, if it does, that means you didn't mix it properly, typically. And another note is this stuff does have a shelf life. It's typically one year. They recommend using it the, when you first buy it. I did buy a couple bottles of this, or packs of it, and these are both packs I got are about, oh, I bought them last July, so I suppose they're probably about nine months, nine, ten months, 
you know, really old. I don't know how, you know, how they, long they were made before I bought them, but I'd, I'd estimate about 10 months. So they're getting close to the end. I have used them about a year, year and a half into it, and it does work. It just takes, everything takes longer. Um, I've been pretty fortunate with it. Uh, I do know the Woodland Scenic stuff. I used that one time after a year of it sitting, and I did get some kind of weird um, cloudy issues with it and sticky. And they, I did call them. They, rep they said I just didn't mix it properly. That could be, I don't remember. So, but either way, that was a, it's a good product. This is a good product. I like this because it seems less finicky to me. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get everything ready and then the I'm going to turn the clip back on. It is warmed up. It is room temperature. You don't want it hot and you, if you have, you can put it in water to get it to um, the temperature of your room. Uh, do not let it get hot because it this stuff already heats up on its own. So I'm going to start pouring into the, cup, oh, the first cup. It does say to use gloves. I actually, myself, I, I don't have any. I thought I had some and I must have ran out. So I'm going to, I got to be very careful. It, you can get it on your, if you get it on your skin, it washes off with soap and water. Now, when you're pouring this up, don't let it, don't pour fast and don't let it create a lot of bubbles. All right, this is the hardener. Uh, got some bubbles in there. I'm going to go a little less than half the cup for my first pour. That's probably what I'll do each time. When I do the second pour, I'm not going to show me mixing it or pouring it. I'm just going to show you me pouring it. Okay, that's probably... I'll go a little more. Okay, that's probably enough. Okay. okay now we're going to take the this the um, resin itself. We're going to pour that, and we want the exact exact same amount. I mean, I know we're not uh, chemists here, so we do the best we can by eye to measure it. Just got to be very careful. Get it as close as you possibly can. You can even make mark a line on the cup. That's why they recommend using clear cups. Woodland Scenics actually gives you cups with lines on it. When you mix this stuff, you want to scrape the edges of the um, the cups while you're mixing it to me and, and the bottom and make sure you get it really well mixed. And I think that's why they want you to pour it into a third cup after you mix it for a couple minutes, just to make sure you're really mixing it good. And that way you don't get none of the original stuff in there. Okay, I gotta lower myself down and see if I can get this right exact. Almost, one more, there we go, right on. Right on, okay. We'll put this lid on. Now this stuff's good for another time. I'll use it for another pour later on. Now that it's kind of room temperature up, I'm gonna just leave it sitting out down here. It'll uh, sit here and I can, uh, I won't have to put in water or anything like that to warm it up. Okay, now, what I, you can put your dye in now. As a matter of fact, I think I'm just gonna do that. I usually, in these cups, I use about 10 to 12 um, drops of this stuff. So let's go ahead and put that in. Oops, got a couple more. It don't matter, it'll be fine. It's gonna come out the same color. As long as you put at least 10 of them in there, eight, 10 of them, it'll still come out the same color. Now I'm gonna mix these two together. This is the hardener going into the resin. And like I say, pour slow, don't let it uh, form a lot of bubbles. And just so these cups, they're no good after you're done. You can't really wash them and clean them out. 
There we go. Now, when I mix it and pour it into the other cup, it'll, um, I'll lose a little bit because it sticks to the side of the cup, of course. I'll try and get as much of that out of there as you can. I'm not going to squeegee it. Okay, that cup's shot. That's done. I'll throw that in the trash. Now I'm going to start to mix this and I'm going to shut the camera off. You just mix it with the stick for a couple minutes. And then I'm going to dump it into the third cup and mix it again. And I'll, when I come back, we'll be pouring it into my, uh, our first layer. Okay, next step. Uh, you can see what it looks like mixed. And I was just going to mention that. I should have mentioned that before. When you do mix this stuff, you want to really make sure you scrape the edges really good to, and, and the bottom to make sure you get every bit of this mixed. If it gets uneven, it can end up being a little sticky. It won't dry real good. Um, you can kind of see now what uh, the color is. The deeper, the uh, the more layers you put, the d deeper the color will get. Right now, it's not going to be really dark. Um, it'll be, it'll actually get a little lighter when I pour it. But uh, I'll, put, like I say, I'm going to put a couple more layers, and I'm going to probably, possibly, maybe film one more layer. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start to pour this. I'm sorry if the camera doesn't get every bit of the pouring, but I'm going to do the best I can. I have to split this up between sides. So I'm going to kind of turn it like this so you can see me. I'll pour right over here and over here. You kind of have to go fast. You can't let this stuff sit a long time. So here we go. I want to get a little bit on each side. And it is self-leveling. Trust me, it gets in everywhere. I'm gonna go back to this side and make sure I get a little more over here. And it will get in, in places. You'll think it won't, but it will. It seeps in really good. We have to watch out for bubbles. The next layer will get higher, will fill in even higher, but this is really gonna spread out. You can kind of see what it's doing right now. I'm not gonna scrape the rest of this out. I normally do, but I, being I'm gonna put another layer, it really doesn't matter. You can kind of see what it's looking like already. It gave it kind of a good look. Just letting her pour a little bit more. Let it get on some of this. It's going to seep all the way up the sides of this stuff. And, you know, it, it comes out. Um, it really does spread out good. It's, that it is a pretty good, oops, I dripped a little on there. But that's going to be underwater too. So, and it, like I say, it levels itself out. I can already see some of the air bubbles forming. So you have to give it about 15 minutes for that to kind of settle down. And throw this stuff away, these cups, they are no good after they're done. That's pretty much the end of them. So you got to kind of start over with it when you do the next pour or so. So to get the bubbles out, like I was saying, you would take the camera, uh, the, um, I'm going to move the camera, <laughs> and you would take a straw and you just lightly blow into the, uh, into this thing. I'm going to try and move the camera so you can see what happens to the bubbles. Actually, one just popped. See, they're actually popping on their own just by me talking close to it. Can you kind of see them pop, popping? Trying not to touch it either, the water. Yeah, it's doing it. So what you got to do is you just want to, um, the, the oxygen, your, your oxygen kind of 
uh, pot relieves the bubbles. You can use a flame, a torch, a real fine torch, or like a candle lighter, whatever you want. I did that once on one of my layouts. It always works good. Okay, one more final clip for this layer. I got all the bubbles out. This is what it looks like right now. I'm just kind of holding the camera so I can walk and move and show you. Just keep in mind, this is my first layer, but this came out pretty nice. A lot of people would be happy with this, just to leave it the way it is. You'd still see some of the little bumps in the water and where little pebbles sticking up. Came out pretty nice. Just wanted you guys to see what it looks like. But I want the water higher where them weeds are dipped into it and the rocks are more covered. Yeah, you can kind of there see the, some of the bumps of the rocks. But it looks really nice. It's got a nice blue reflection of the back wall, just like water should. And it is the right color of the water.